What is going on everyone? It's your guy Cole Jackson back here on Road Graders brought to you again today by the Russell Street Report courtesy of DNL Tinting. Go check out dealtinting.com for all the services they can bring you including window tinting, car detailing, and headlight restoration. Located in White Marsh in Parkville, Maryland, they put the shades on the sun. Go check them out and thank you for sponsoring this episode. Today we're going to be talking about Brandon Stevens. Uh, one of the, you know, I'll go ahead and say it, he's probably the biggest breakout star on the Ravens this year. Uh, a guy that some folks didn't think would make the final 53 and here he is. Um, locking down Jamar Chase in this uh, week 11 matchup uh, really interested to dive into the film and some of the things he did in this game that really stood out to me uh, before we get into it he had just one catch allowed for two yards it was on the garbage time touchdown we're going to take a look at it at the end because I still love the way he played it um, I really want to focus on some of the technique he's been using that's given him so much success how he's trusting his speed all that good stuff how he uses trail technique to his advantage and leverages coverage um, if you guys are looking forward to this breakdown, if you're fired up about all the things Brandon Stevens has done this year for the Ravens, hit that like button, hit subscribe if you're new here, and drop a comment down below and answer the question, is Brandon Stevens the biggest breakout star on the Ravens this year? So let's get right into it. I want to start on, this is one of those deep shots early in the game with Joe Burrow still in. You're going to get Brandon Stevens at the top of your screen here, and he's going to just run with Chase. They get the deep shot out. This was... The one that, uh, who gets that QB hit? He got blasted. I think it was Michael Pierce. Look at Michael Pierce getting in here, pushing the pocket. Watch that. Boom, boom, boom. Smashes Burrow. Love seeing that. Um, so this is, the technique used here by Stevens is what we're going to see. So what he's using here is called soft shoe release. So it's basically he's showing press, but then rather than uh, a physical press with hands on where he's getting up like that he's releasing with him so they call that soft shoe or some people call it soft shoe um, so you're going to see that soft shoe release right there and then this is what Brandon Stevens has been doing and I, I, the reason I picked this clip is because these are the types of plays that Brandon Stevens struggled with a bit last year where he doesn't get his head back around to the ball. You see right here, Jamar Chase is tracking. But Brandon Stevens' ability to run with just about anybody on the football field is where he gets into these hip-on-hip -hip, um, reps where he's running with them. And so this type of tight coverage downfield can be super helpful. You're basically forcing the perfect... The ball lands about right here, so just slightly overthrown. But you're basically forcing... A perfect throw and a perfect catch but um, Brandon Stevens not getting his head around was one of the issues it still pops up from time to time um, especially on this type of release where he's getting safety help from uh, from uh, Williams coming across the field but he doesn't have the immediate safety help and split safety so this is where he's just carrying a one-on-one -on -one down the field um, but his athleticism his ability to run with everyone for those tight windows um, that's where he's having a lot of success but what you're gonna see here is where he's at his best and that's he's going to get up in that tight coverage right out the line of scrimmage you're seeing that soft shoe again so he's not getting up and pressing him physically trying to hit his punch um, releasing on him and then you're seeing him as he plays it so he's got safety help here so he's going to play that outside leverage force him inside and then just run on his hip and so the ball ends up getting dumped right here because of pressure from the defensive line but you can see his ability to sit on that hip and leverage the coverage over here so forcing him to run any sort of route that way is going to go into the safety but the way he runs on the hip is where he's had his success this year and you can see chase as chase breaks down to come back to the ball and run the route that he was running regardless of what's happening underneath um, even if it's just a clear out route you can see how he's able to follow him and then he's able to just break on the ball really fast and that's where he's reading um, reading those breaks quickly and able to make plays on the ball. So here you're going to see him on the high side of the screen. You got a safety deep here. You got Kyle Hamilton creeping up into the box. And so you're going to get the safety over top. They're going to run play action. And Stevens is going to give, again, another one of those soft shoes. So he's not trying to press him with his hands. He's going to just release and run with him from a press alignment. He's going to use inside leverage this time because he doesn't have the same safety help. And he's just going to run with him. And so you're going to see it right here. He's matched up. He's on his hip. Same sort of thing. The rollout is here. I believe he's intending to go there. He ends up hitting the crossing route. But this looks like the primary read. 
Um, and he's going to break down here to come back to the ball. And this is what Jamar Chase was killing Ronald Darby on because Ronald Darby had to cheat a little bit deeper. I say kill, like I think he had one other catch for 10 yards, but he was getting open when he was matched up with Darby underneath because um, Darby was sagging off him a little bit. But Stevens is able to run with him. So then when Chase goes to break down right here, he's already on his hip. And he's able to come back to the ball. And this is why he looks so sticky in coverage all the time. There's nowhere to go. Ends up hitting the hitting the crossing route that came across the field. Um, you see it again here. Again, he's got the safety this time. They got splits. So he's going to play that outside leverage, force anything inside to the safety. Running on that hip as Chase breaks down to come outside. Again, this was the primary read. Seeing right here, this is a play where... Rowe comes in and blows up Joe Mixon right there. So as he's looking that way, he's again looking for that out, trying to you know hope that the Ravens are going to be in one of those under coverages they use where someone sags off to protect the deep ball. He just runs that out route. They connect on it over here. But as he breaks down, Stevens, because he's on his hip, he can read that break and then interfere with it as he tries to break. Nowhere to go. So again, just... Playing that outside hip, his ability to trust his long speed is really what the difference is with Brandon Stevens this year because his ability to do that means he can play tighter on the man, which means it's harder for them to uh, to get separation on breaking routes. You're going to get him at the top of your screen here. Again, they got a single safety, so he doesn't necessarily have the split safety help. Um, it looks like Marcus Williams is reading the eyes. You can see the, the read going here, but he's going to play inside leverage here, give up that outside lane. And then just run. You see him carry that. And so you can kind of see a little bit. So he's looking. Let's see right here. That was the first read. And then he works back inside in his progression. And so it's not there because Brandon Stevens is able to just run with him. And see how tight that is. He covers him. As Chase kind of comes back to the ball, you see Chase is right there. Stevens is right there. Just consistently doing this. And so let's look at the touchdown. This is just beautiful execution by the Bengals. One of those plays in the red zone where I don't know what you want the corner to do because you can tell the way he's going to run this. It looks like it's going to start as a fade. So And Brandon Stevens' head, that's always been the issue with him, but his head's on the ball. Chase is going to sell this up. See right off there. As he takes that outside step, he looks back. You can see they're both looking to the ball. This is feeling like a fade where he's just going to chuck it up. So Brandon Stevens has to play over top of him. As he does, you can see it right there, nice and tight. The ball's already come out, thrown to that back shoulder. That's just thrown where only he can get it. Steven still makes a play to get to the ball, and Chase hauls it in. I mean, there's only so much you can do. I think he played that about as well as he could have. That's just a perfectly placed back shoulder ball. I think it happened because he was trying to protect the back corner from a fade, but... Good execution by the Bengals there. That's the first touchdown allowed by Brandon Stevens this year. It came in garbage time. Came on a perfectly placed ball. Hard to blame him. He still almost made a play on it. So that's what I got on, on Stevens. I really like the way he's been able to play that trail technique, run on the hip, leverage the coverages. But I really think the difference is his ability to trust his long speed and then stick to guys, not have to get on over top of them so that they can just break routes under them. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button and hit subscribe if you're new here. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Peace out, everyone.